Just got the Republic 16 inch lathe back to the house. All the cutting oil splashed out of the reservoir, which is awesome. It's gonna make unloading it super fun. But it's going over there. What's up guys, just wanna make a quick video of my new to me Republic leg and lathe. <clears throat> this model has a 16 inch swing and was originally manufactured in 1977 in Spain. Uh, I just got it set up uh, with this VFD. So I got the original three phase motor running off of my house 220 volt power. So far, I haven't really found any issues with that. Seems to be working out pretty good. Uh, I am able to run both the coolant pump as well as the motor off of the single VFD without issues. Uh, under normal operation, it draws about 12 amps per leg uh, from my house power. But, uh, next up is going to be changing all the oils in this machine. I'm waiting on the uh, manual to get here uh, from Lagan so I can have all the proper viscosities and all that stuff. But for now, making some chips on our first piece. Still have to make a uh, chip guard for the wall here as well. The original one on the machine does not fit in the amount of space that I have. So let's check it out. Headstock is full. Now we're gonna fill up the uh, quick change gear box, the apron, and the uh, tailstock bearing over there. So, got in touch with uh, Republic Legan and got my hands on an original manual for this machine, um, which turns out is from 1977. So I was able to source some new oil for both the spindle and the gearboxes. So today we're gonna to change it out and see how she runs with some fresh oil. Now that the oil level has dropped <clears throat> and I got this uh, cover off, found a couple issues. Uh, one being this part of the casting uh, is busted off inside the gearhead. You see one of the pieces laying down there, another one down there. Uh, bearing still seems pretty tight in there, but probably not much I can do about that really. What's more troublesome Get around here to where we can see it. Is there are some broken teeth. So there's a broken tooth there. And then on this gear, down on the bottom, on the input shaft from the motor pulley, this gear is completely stripped. So that corresponds to my second speed here, speed B. So, well, we'll see if uh, they happen to have those gears. So we've got uh, pretty much about all the oil out that will drain out. I took out uh, as many of the little bits of metal that I could. Um, fished a magnet all around in there. Got pretty much most of it. So now we'll go ahead and we will fill it back up. 